For a long time, I've said that I'm not an artist. In other words, I can't draw. I got into Surface because I think that note-taking is really important for work. It's an important memory, thinking and understanding tool that beats a keyboard in many situations. But I've come to realize that visual communication is a very important tool that everyone should be able to use. It's a skill that we naturally develop. If you watch a child, they very quickly learn to draw. My one-year-old niece, for example, has just learned to draw on the walls. But sometime, probably in the preteen years, drawing gets drummed out of us. I think we have the school system to thank for that. Now, I'm not suggesting that we could have all been Picassos, but we can all draw, and it's an important skill that we should develop. Not in the name of art, but in the name of communication. I've started watching Learn to Draw videos on YouTube. I've read books like Dan Rome's Back of a Napkin, and I've been working on developing my pen skills. They need a lot of work. One of the ways that I've been working on those visual skills is with tracing. And I'm using an app called Concepts on Surface to do it. Concepts is available for free in the Windows Store, and it has some special unique abilities compared to other drawing tools. Most drawing programs are raster-based, but Concepts is vector-based. So in Concepts, I can take a line that I've drawn select it, move it, resize it, and reshape it. And as you'd expect from a drawing app, it allows you to draw with colors and in different pen styles. There are textured pen styles that you can purchase. There are layers, and it even supports the surface pen's pressure and tilt sensitivity. To trace, I take an image, copy it to the clipboard, and import it into concepts. I resize the image and place it to suit, and then I drop the image layer's opacity and make it fade back a little. I start a new layer and go to work on tracing the lines. I'm finding that this helps me to see lines and shapes in larger objects. And over time, I'm finding that I have more control over my lines. So Concepts is a great app for developing your drawing skills. You might have previously seen the Concepts app on iOS and Android. Unfortunately, the Windows version does not have a lot of the features of the iPad version yet. But the Concepts people are promising future features to pro subscribers such as snap guides, PDF handling, and advanced manipulation. These features can't come soon enough because the only app that I'd really like from an iPad on Windows is Procreate. And if Concepts can come up with these features on Windows and Android, it could easily become the better multi-platform alternative to Procreate. Give Concepts a try and tell us what you think about it in the comments below. We'd especially love to hear from you. If you're already using Concepts, tell us how you're using it. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.